yeah, look at that head. New, interesting, random, tall guy films. Yes, I have descended to the point of making sexual innuendos in my video intros. Anyways, moving on to the review. The Oban BA-108 ball head is designed to be fairly small and versatile. You're less likely to see it in between a cinema rig and a tripod, and more likely to see it on top of a slider or a compact tripod. So how much can this little guy do? Before we talk about this head's performance, let's talk about design. On the bottom of the head, there is a 3 8 16 screw to mount the head. If you want to mount this thing on a quarter 20 screw, you'll have to buy an adapter separately. On the side of the head at the very bottom, there is a joint to allow panning motion, as well as degree markings to help get precise pans. Just above that is a lever which controls the tension of both the pan and the ball joint itself. The top portion of the ball head features four separate bubble levels, in case you need that many to get a level shot. There's also a lever which releases the quick release plate on the top of the head. The quick release plate has a screw to attach to a camera, which can be adjusted along the Y axis. Overall the head feels very durable as it is constructed of mostly metal parts, with only some plastic in the levers and the quick release plate. Of course, metal construction and a sexy red and black design are meaningless if the Oban can't perform. And perform it does not. The Oban BA-108 advertises a max load capacity of 8 pounds, however it can barely hold my Lumix G7 which weighs under 2. The head goes limp under any amount of weight unless you're willing to over tighten the tension lever to the point that it feels like you're going to break it off. I might be able to give the head points back if it had smooth motion, but it doesn't. Even when loosened all the way, the head is too stiff, both on the pan and the ball joint itself, to get any kind of smoothness out of it. Even if this open ball head did manage to impress me on the last two points, I still have more complaints. The tension lever on the head adjusts both the ball joint and the panning motion, meaning you can't pan the ball without risking getting your camera off level. There are also no rubber components around the 3816 screw on the bottom of the head, making it easy to accidentally loosen or unscrew the head from whatever it's mounted to. In conclusion, the Oban BA-108 is a very poor performing ball head with lots of flaws, wrapped up in a deceptively durable and high quality design. Keep in mind when purchasing this head that you're paying for that design, not for a ball head that actually works as it's designed. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you're interested in this ball head or the quick release plate, check it out via my links in the description. If you like the video, hit the like button. If not, feel free to hit the dislike button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.